Of course. So, yep. We'll see how they actually try to abuse the vision here with the Nature's Prophet TPing in. Yep, so he's got the uh, the one deep ward in, yeah, right on that cliff, and then he's got one all ready to go here on the dire side, which is going to give a little bit of night vision here, so they might still be able to scout that one out. We shall see. As yeah, Lauren look. off, he's going to be able to put his ward down without a smoke getting broken, so that's going to be fairly nice. Let's see who can uh, kind of get the advantage here. Oh, this is a yeah. really interesting ward. Check out the observer. Oh, it doesn't block this camp, actually. It's just to watch for rotations down bottom. I, I feel like I don't see this one too common. He's just nicely tucked in between the trees. Mm-hmm. You know these players, they play Dota the whole day. They're in the lobby looking for spots. I, I kid you not, I had one, this one teammate last time. He would just literally sit in front of the PC every time there's no scream. Instead of playing pubs, he was just going to go into the lobby and try to figure out where to put the sentry and observer. Yeah, that's what I did when the new map got made. I, I walked around on the new map in demo mode. No, not and, when uh, a new map is made. No, there's no new map. Nothing, you know, he's just there trying to find uh, well, extra Yeah, but you spot. just walk around, quelling blade, look for some cool spots. There's a lot of cool spots that still exist on the map. As that's uh, the smoke from extreme is not going to pan out into anything. And runes will still go for two apiece. Yep, two apiece. So nothing out of the ordinary. So we'll have to... Just go to the game in an actual normal start, which is what everyone wants. A normal start into 50-50 laning phase, and mm -hmm. let's just watch some real Dota being played right here. D1 has got his easy morphing. cam. Yeah, you see some morphing in the lane, abusing the stat shift, using the regen, of course. and you get, ang you get mad. <laughs> why is this even allowed? Why? You know why? Just why? <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? All the camps down bottom are blocked, is the point I wanted to make here, right? So. DY, he's blocked the hard camp, means he doesn't have a sentry T D ward, his easy camp, and uh, vice versa here for uh, Q. So no creeps to be played with here. It'll be all lane for now down bottom. Yeah, I mean, uh, the PA did get a significant buff for the, the dagger, the range. So it's an extra, what, 150 range for the level one dagger. So that's pretty significant for the lane. I think she's no longer like a, a very weak lane at uh, the early levels because of this buff. And with CM, she definitely has a lot of uh, kill threat once you have uh, level 2 on CM. Frostbite, Nova, and Bling Strike, and the Dagger. So, so much they, damage. Yeah. Play Granite on top of it. You see Dead is, Hero. Is this even a hero? I mean, and I know it is because I'm looking at the builds. None of, well, uh, some of them very rarely include an orb of corrosion, but uh, that's what the question here is. On Would PA? you ever consider, yeah, on PA? I mean, it gives you attack speed. I don't know if you want it on PA. Oh, I want attack speed. I mean, you say that's the current build? No, it's oh, not. It's, it's very much an outlier. Pretty much it's Wraith Band, Brown Boots, sometimes, you know, Power Treads usually raid into uh, Battle Fury. Mm. Yeah, that probably sounds more reasonable. I think the Orb of Corrosion is not very valuable. Maybe you get a Blight Stone and just leave it, but then, you know, a lot of carry players or core players will tell you, I don't like to buy something that doesn't turn into another thing and waste my slot, you know, so they don't do it. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I certainly and believe that. And then you see support players trying to argue and make, make a point, you know. But it's value for the lane. If you hit him with the Blight Stone, my right clicks become double <laughs> right click. You farm faster with your right clicks. Isn't that worth the gold? And they go, no, I would then, rather have a then, stick. No, no, then he'll drop the bombshell. Who is the call now? Who is the carry now? <laughs> oh, why Shut do up. I need to care about your right clicks? <laughs> and then you're like, okay, sir. Do you, you don't need to, to do any damage to pull the camp. You can just walk in there and aggro. Yeah, I mean, just uh, this is a very normal conversation in Dota. And then I would say, but, but Master, my the Vlad's I build also gives me more damage. And they go, I don't care. And at the end of the day, all we care about together is victory. If you can attain victory at the end. Plus 30. That's all. And that's all it's about here. I mean, Morphing right is now. struggling a lot, actually. <laughs> Eight, 8 and 4 to the 14 and 2 of the Blue Master, right? This is working out well. I mean, this is why I, I mentioned the SD is like a very weak laner as a position 5. It don't tend to offer a lot to the laning base. 
I mean, we saw FNG how he got bullied the last game against the Tide. And this time we see the same thing happening. Is there a point to potentially having swapped the Marana and SD here in this lane to allow the bottom to do a little bit more top? Or but then you, 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 ruin, just... you ruin Captain Jab's lane, you know? You think he'll do that to, yourself, to oh, himself? That's, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who's the real carry, my man? Good point. Good point. <laughs> No, you can't really, you can't really be having that. So there's uh, level three. And also, I, I, I'm curious to see whether he actually goes for the Amal build or he just goes for his own build. I feel like he's the type of guy that doesn't like to follow what other people does. But do you think he'll like do that? Like he'll notice a build and then specifically not follow it? Is that something he'd do as well? I mean, you just think about whether it, it works that game. You know, like for this game, I, I feel like when you see a Brewmaster, you always think of getting something like a Death Soul. <laughs> To kill the the primal spirit, oh. you know the brulings, you know. I hate to to burst your bubble, but normally he does go for the Amara build if we can call it that. Ah, Double bracer, phase, blink, Yule's Octarine, BKB, you know, that good stuff. What you gotta do, you know? Like I said, winning is what matters the most, you know. It's true. The carry the support. Everyone can yell at me, but as long as you win as a team. TP's coming. No problem. Score. Disruption into arrow for Sin Q. They catch him. 23 on top of him with the damage and no way out for him. First blood, pretty late in the game, goes to Q. Yeah, SD is like having enough of this MP bullying him in this lane. So it calls for backup. That's what you do, you know. You back up your partner when times are hard. And that's going to give uh, Morphing some time to breathe in his lane. Now he's fully caught up towards the Brewmaster. They both have very similar CS. And here comes the Mirana again. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Oh, <laughs> I heard Twin Gate. It was Roche going through the Twin Gate. Of course. The classic. Yeah, everybody's just uh, drafting and stuff as the Mirana just running around. So it's going to be... Who has the better roamers right now? <laughs> tiny, tiny maiden is not bad, but I agree. It is no SD Marana, huh? And that is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory here. XM, uh, he thinks he's safe. He doesn't know there's Walk a Marana away. here. Uh, Ali oh. reported, reported. I mean, he was trying He's to like, drag the creep away. Why Why are you reporting him? That is not a well, good reason to report someone. Because he aggroed the creep by casting how, the spell. How so do you have 12k behavior score? How? This is not he fair. Ag he aggroed the creep by casting the spell. Ollie should have ran away first and then casted the spell. 6 million rune. Regeneration yeah. rune. Zinkyo says thank you. Thank you, Gaben. Yummy delicious. I was already at full HP and mana, but I'll take it. Uh, pretty aggressive here from XM. He'll start farming between the towers. Sin Q and DY. Well, DY, I'm helping. Uh, the D Sin Q really starting to do some tower damage here as the wagon oh, he is protected. He blocked the wagon. Oh, he did nice. a mushi. He said, Wagon, stand still. <laughs> he tanks her very well. Yeah, Lornoff, he's just got to pull. Well, he's not pulling the creeps off the tower. Yeah, I mean, he can just I mean, clear them, tiny. I suppose. He can tank some tower shots. No problem. It's true, he, he does have grow level one. He's got that bonus armor and a quick D ward. Extreme gaming. They will continue to put a bit of pressure. That was just one wave here. Already uh, almost 900 damage being dealt. That is yeah. that's serious. That's significant for sure. Next time it happens again, it's definitely going to die. Oh, Nature's Prophet. Nope. Q says, nope. I know what you're going to do, Shinky. Uh, and he can't TP. Did he not scan? Wow, 23. Oh, 20, 23, over. yeah. Holy crap. All right. I guess he was he was done with that. He's done with his top lane. Yeah, I mean, the wave is already actually pushed out. So that's, that's actually a good rotation by 23. Whenever you shop out a lane like this, you always, should always look to rotate with TPs. Arena, Arena. of blood. Oh, extreme gaming. They're going to be red like a book here. It's 23 Savage on top of Ame, who I believe was body blocked by the creeps there, although he did get out of the arena. DY survives the onslaught of 23 Savage auto attack uh, as Jabs, unfortunately, goes down to XM, who is joining this fight and still has 21 charges. Can continue to fight 23 with just enough regen here and still a healing Lotus to his name to potentially try and turn oh, things around. Nice arrow. nice arrow here. And the Ava toss, no, interrupted here. XM's own avalanche, but he's got a lot of damage. And now with Lorinov joining the fight, will be able to deal the killing blow here to XM. Aurora bringing like, what, all five heroes? heroes? 
That was like nine heroes except for the Brew. <laughs> yeah. Brew is just being chill on top. I, I, again, XXS is like, sorry guys, that looks like fun, but I don't have my primal split, so... Too far away, not convenient. If it's near the tower. You know those off lanes that you ask them, why don't you TP? It's too far away. If you fight nearer to the tower, then I'll TP. So next time, fight nearer the tower. <laughs> You I haven't do had those that. Just, no, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, that's too far. I would have missed. I would have missed a wave, and it's like, well, that is true. But can't you see? I'm queuing my Midas. Do you understand how important it is to get my Midas like 30 seconds faster? Exodus is like, guys, come on! I'm building Radiance. He's gonna ping how much gold he needs for Radiance. Oh, yeah, two one token. <laughs> two one token, just Bing chilling right there. Exodus, don't classic. mind if I do. It's 23 Savages token. He just. He left it on the ground. I don't know why that's still a mechanic, by the way. It's only your first the token first that one. you find yeah, you one. can leave on the ground. I have no, like, for what? Charity? I just... I don't understand. Have you, like, come on, Val. Have you been to an arcade in the current year? They're not even using real tokens anymore. It's all on, like, fake credit cards. You just, you just swipe the card and you keep playing. I don't understand why the first one drops a token that you can leave behind if you waveform and then TP immediately. It's just like, why? Why? Why do you look to always understand everything? Some things are just like that, you know? You don't need to try to understand why. Just I guess it's because... It. I guess because you'd want the first one to be in your inventory right away, but honestly, just put it in your inventory. Why do I gotta pick it up? Now 23 Savage stole one of the supports tier 1 neutral items, and you're going to have a Shadow Demon with 1,400 in net worth. Yeah, it's like uh, every neutral item is kind of like a 6-700 gold. Spot yeah! Net worth, I think. It's huge for your supports. And now more things. It's okay, I got my safety bubble. This is guys, like a, a value item. No more thing. Sorry guys, it's nerf, I it's need nerf bubble. now, but still very, very strong. Yeah, 5 HP regen was ridiculous passively. Uh, yeah, and the cooldown to the what the bubble recharge. Yeah, the, the cooldown's huge, don't get me wrong, but I mean, come on, 5 HP regen a second for a tier 1 neutral? It's almost a ring of Tarask, isn't it? I probably want the the seed more now. It's half a ring of Tarask. Shadow Demon Careful gets now. a disrupt. Yeah, DY, no way out for him. He'll dodge the arrow. Turn at least with a Crystal Nova, but he still dies just as easily as Ame. It's going to be forced back from the wave a little bit by 23 Savage. 23 just doesn't want him farming too peacefully here. He's already showing with the Cornucopia in lane, so well on his way towards this Battle Fury for the Phantom Assassin. Lane went pretty well. I don't know, 60 CS in 11 minutes. Seems like it's yeah, fine. Yeah, looking at the net of it's, I mean, it's not that great right now. No. I have to try to open up the map, like re reclaim the top area. Try to kick out this Morphling, but uh, Morphling is one of those heroes that you need to bring a lot of people to kick this guy out. A lot of Aurora, people. you gotta give him credit, right? They, they played it pretty, pretty calmly in the early game, right? They didn't really succumb to how strong of a lane that bot lane was. They kind of just took a bunch of harass from the brew uh, sprout. We didn't really see NP TPing around, disrupting lane, starting yeah. ganks. It's 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 been this, this it, it, is why the mass opening pick is just such a solid one oh. for the drop, you know. Oh, yeah, he doesn't get that's kind punished. Of, did you see that? So Sin Q smoked in the mid lane and then he TP'd down bot with teleportation. So then to he the could apply people. smoke. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Oh, they're gonna try and bait now, this rune. Now he doesn't have the TP buff. Oh, the they were gonna try and bait it. Now, actually, well, they still have vision. There's the blink reveal from XM. Quick and easy kill. Well, is it a quick and easy kill? It, it, it should still be easy. It's just not that quick after he gets the disruption off. And even just the demonic purge. Ami. Top lane. Yeah, he could be in for a rough time here as they have the vessel on him. Oh. The arrow misses. That might be crucial. Another phantom strike here in a second. Oh, but they can't get the vision. This is really risky going any further. So eventually they're going to have to let him go. Nice drop breaking vision, but ultimately Q kind of a big miss there on that arrow, unfortunately. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So, extreme, I mean, gaming, they, they, extreme gaming has to try to I think they have to try to help the the peer. Peer is getting like bullied too much. He hasn't really had a, a lot of time to hit creeps uh, peacefully. You know, it's, there's always someone disrupting his farm. You know? I feel like his team needs to do something about that.
Okay, they've got a ward here, bottom. Good positioning though, nice leap, even better leap. Q is able to escape there. I agree. Uh, this kind of move is pretty good though, because it does create a buffer for Ame to farm behind. He's probably going to farm his way, uh, maybe even a little bit, well, not too close to bottom. You you'd expect Aurora to eventually make a move for a tower. That's it's about the only thing they haven't really done at all here this game, Winter, is, is push any kind of objective. Maybe waiting for this Mars Blink, which is going to be up in about 400 gold. And they're happier trying to just farm. They have half of the map, because Morphling is just sitting up so aggressive. You know, he look at where the Morphling is farming, he's like way past his safe zone. So that's that's how they're gaining equilibrium, you know, gaining the equality in terms of the map. When does this change? Do they just need a smoke move like this, or do they need like a yeah, radiance on like success? Yeah, they have to kick No, they have to kick the turn tree, morphing up. But that's I mean, not they're not wait. like waiting on an item, right? Nah, is what I'm nah, asking. Nah. Okay, they just have, they just have to like commit. Kills, yeah. Oh well, that's a way to commit. And there's your surprise kill you were looking for, Winter. Twenty three is like hey, it's warded for sure. <laughs> and then he realized there's no one. <laughs> well. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, you need normally you need a like a raindrop uh, to deal with this tiny. Just to avoid uh, dying like this. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So that's the first death for 23. So he has to be a lot more cautious to prevent that from happening again. Now PA is finally. Thank you guys. Finally, you've heard my plea. <laughs> finally. Okay, so Treads and Witchblade now online for the puck, but most importantly, Jabs, the captain, the carry. He's got the Blink Dagger. They don't really know where XM is. They'd love a bigger target than just DY. And in fact, they might just find him as Ame. Oh, gets a Phantom Strike away, but a perfect arena there by Jabs. Immediately scouts him back out. They will get this kill onto Ame before he can really do much at all. Does jump on over to Q briefly, but now how much more is it going to cost Aurora? As it seems like they're set to lose at minimum Ali, who's rooted and killed off does his best to steal as much of the ancients as he can quick one for one trade there oh he actually died to a neutral i was like why is his death timer so long because he died to a neutral that's pretty clutch yeah lucky lucky for him Ali. so he they still got what they want they got the carry kill that's great uh, arena that's enough yeah, good arena by Jabs there. He actually held his nerf. He was he was gonna cast it the first time, then he waited, he stopped, and then he did it again. So good play there. So time that ancient black timing. dragon really just <laughs> really did not want to let that kill go. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Item timing wise right now, Morphing is about to finish uh, Manta style. You don't really see any big items coming up anytime soon. For extreme, I mean, they have this blink. They have radiance pretty soon. That's that's pretty big. Next success is uh, maybe just another camp yeah, away from it, that item. It now. can also be used against you because there's a shadow demon, so they have to be careful of that. And yeah, at Holy, uh -huh. he's actually uh, yes, two points in disruption right now, so not too bad. I think as long as yeah. he makes illusions of the uh, the radiance, I mean, you can kind of turn it off before before you pop out. I don't know if it still works, you know. I remember when No, he... it doesn't. It doesn't. I, I know I know exactly where... what you're talking about. Yeah, you, you used to be able to spam it, you you, you could put it in off. your backpack. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> they, Valve removed that, which I think good riddance, honestly. That's pretty stupid. You're disrupted, you're off the map, you know, you shouldn't really be able to do anything at all. Yeah, it, talking it'd about be the like map. Zinq has tip it into place of what? Into enemy territory, enemy base. I think they just Smoke ganked a, an, an Ollie illusion, indeed. Uh, so that's a bit unlucky. Kind of got baited there by the observer. Atos almost completed on Q, so it's going to give them more ways of initiating and landing the arrow, getting that pick off. And game is going to slow down a little bit. Both teams are just trying to. It's true. Get I mean, Ame's right got now. the Battle Fury, though, so he's he's happy to continue farming. He is finally going to be able to at least overtake Jabs, who is going to be able to move around with this team. Now, Moonlight shouted up. Maybe they're hoping they'll find a PA if they're just patient enough. Don't think that's set to happen here, unfortunately, for them, even if all the camps are farmed. I've seen both teams even actually blocking hard camps that their enemies would have easy access to. Yeah, I mean, this camp on the top side, I mean, the, the dire, yeah, dire camp has been blocked for so long, you know. PA is like, yeah. why is this blocked? 
The the Radiant Camp uh, that is next to the Tier 1 Tower also has been blocked, but unblocked now by Aurora. So a lot of contests here for this as XXS eager to show up now and finally take a fight with his Radiance. But uh, I don't know, it's really good vision, honestly, set up by Aurora. So it's going to be a bit tricky to find an angle. What the heck? See the Sin Q ward that's already in the base? Good vision, good intel. Yeah, he TP'd in to place it. I mean, extreme gaming, they have to keep this 100% oh. win rate of CM Wait. alive. Jabs, I, he just blinks in there. Now XSS, he knows he does arena. not have a blink dagger. Protect himself. There is an arena. arena. He might need to use it, but careful. Extreme Gaming, they've been dragged underneath an Observer Ward of Aurora. They're going to use that to their advantage as they take down DY straight away. Boulder hurled over towards Jabs as the lift is going to be onto the puck. Q, and actually... Wow, even Ali holding and taking Tiny out of the fight. It's not going to be enough for them to actually save the Mars as this fight still devolving for the side of Aurora. 23 Savage trapped inside of the Sprout. He will TP away, but Ame, he actually goes down to that Max Starstorm and the fight continues here. 23 Savage, he TP'd in, sorry, even deeper into the fight. Manta style now as he wants to get some of these kills. Sin Q a little bit not strong enough, actually. His XSS trying to fight his way out of this one, but not a chance into this Morphling. Sin Q, he is going to be the last to go in this engagement. And it's a four for one trade Aurora baiting extreme underneath their vision and winning a huge fight here early on. Yeah, the the peer was initially like uh, very careful of the spear. He waited for Japs to throw a spear so he misses the spear then blinks in, but in the end he, he still died to the to the coil. So they definitely got baited by Japs there. Like he it took so long for, for him to die. Like disruption bought him like extra two seconds. Then he like he was able to run towards the river and buy his team even more time. And the morphing arrived in the end to clean up. Yeah, and, and just the tiny being taken out of this fight is kind of what I was. Yeah, he, he, he kind of was... missed the the toss on the morphing. That was unfortunate right. too. Right. I think for me, what's it, like he just he couldn't get in there with another volley. Right, the supports kind of just whittled him away. And yeah, I he... think it's here. He missed the toss. You see. It's... Yeah, he got the. I mean, yeah. Uh, he got the, the kill. I'm not sure. Maybe he doesn't get a kill. Even if he gets close. It was close. Jabs. Another moonlight shadow here. Another arena ready to go. Will not use it though for a maiden, who is not going to be able to survive this little yeah. this trio. The the three v three that Aurora she runs into. Is trying their best to end the streak of this maiden. You know, five wins in a row. Crystal maiden. Uh, I don't uh, think so. I ain't gonna have a six game win streak. They're cooking, man. Indians, Game's still not over by all means, you know. PA is still... He still has a pretty good amount of net worth going for a BKB next, so he can actually go into the fights uh, confidently. And he doesn't really care so much about the Shadow Demon perch on this hero. So, no, yeah. not very true. Arena of Blood is going to be set up, though. XM with the toss on out and the split out from XXS. This could be a bad fight now for Aurora's the disruption. Buying a little bit more time. Sin Q jumping onto the support straight away as Jabs with the bulwark active trying to sneak out of this fight. No chance for him. Aurora, despite taking another fight underneath their vision, are going to lose one, maybe two here as the lift is there on Ali. Split ending rather quickly, but so will the life of the Shadow Demon. Freezing field from DY as he tries to get away from this bad fight now. Puck hit by the lift as the arrow collecting the kill on the DY. Ollie's finally dropped. There's 23 Savage trapped inside a Sprout. Doesn't have a lot of mana no to play with. Does have at least the enough for the want to be able to escape. XM is going to die to the creeps. A Sin Q TP. No, I thought he was going to TP aggressively. Two for two trade after all that. Supports. For, well, actually, it's the mid part of me for uh, the support in the offlane. So two for two. Another good trade for Aurora, honestly. Yeah, it, was, it was very close, though. I think Extreme Gaming, they were a little bit uh, unfortunate not to get uh, the mopping kill in the end. And that was really close to being an absolute big victory for Extreme Gaming if they got the 23 Savage kill there. And you see how, yeah, how much damage the Brewmaster is doing in the team fight with the Radiance and the Cinder Brew. And MP is going to finish Orchid very soon. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so what was the other item you said he should go for? The the, the Vessel, so right? It's either Vessel or Orchid. I was talking about those two. Do you think Nobody you, you have preferred the... Exactly, right? Uh, so, so that's what no, I'm asking. No, no, no. I, think, I think the Orchid is good for the second reason, which is the Puck. Like the Puck already has use. Mm. All right. I mean, it's still good. It's still very useful. You can catch the Shadow Demon and kill yeah. the Shadow Demon on your own. And kill the Potom. 23, please don't kill yourself to the Tormentor. Pot, pot, Potter might be a bit harder. It's, very, it's a lot more tankier than the Shadow Demon. 
We got more armor and more HP, so maybe not. Phylactery nearly online for the Tiny. He's going to go for that Conda. Oh, Conda mm. PA as well. That's what oh, I want really? To see. Ah. So late game, who wins? Yeah, PA against Morphing. I just, I feel like late, late, late game, PA is going to win. But bef before that, like mid, like let's say 20 minutes to 30 minutes, I think Morphing will still have the edge. Is he really going to go Conda? I'm not seeing Conda on like any of these item builds on the Phantom Assassin. Yeah, no, that's not something I, uh, I expected to see this early. And normally what you, you get like a, a death soul with this build. But yeah, normally you, you see... Up. Sorry, I was going to say, normally you see like death soul, BKB, Ags, Basher, Abyssal, Divine. You know, kind of that build up. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I do see one. Um, it was Lil. Lil built one and, and he, he lost. Maybe this is like a Morphling specific thing? Because Lil tried it against a Morph. That, I don't know. Does that make yeah, any sense maybe, at all? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Strun. Hey, They're going to try and bait the it. Bait? Ame. Ame. He's going to ate the bait. He's going to be forced to pop the BKB as Jabs waiting in the wings here. Smoke's breaking even further now on the side of Extreme Gaming as Jabs gets up to the high ground, pops his BKB, waiting for Ame's BKB to end, and they're on to him. 23 Savage. They've just assassinated the assassin. Ame taken out and killed, and the fight falling apart for Extreme Gaming. What a piece of fightmanship out from the side of Aurora as even Ali able to TP away. XSS, he has to use the split just to live here. Has the lift onto the Morphling and oh, there's more heroes dying back here. It's Jabs though. Well, he dies for a few more though. It seems like Sin Q will not be able to get out of here. Arrow, yeah, will force Sin Q to move and that's enough time for the rest of the team to catch up and take him down. Huge fight there for Aurora. Big, big win, you know, killing the PA, killing the Tiny, and, you know, getting the two supports in the end. You lose Jabs, but it's well worth uh, everything, you know. I mean, Jabs is happy to trade his own life for four of the enemy team at any time of the game. I guess PA is just, just weak, you know, even <laughs> better for you, BKB is like, damn what, you know. You go yeah. down the rune, you, you try to pick up the rune, and then it was very nice heads up play by Jabs. You know, he just blink behind so they don't see him and manages to catch the PA once the BKB expires and just get the kill, you know, once the PA dies, the fight was literally over for Extreme Gaming. Brilliant positioning there from Jabs, absolutely. And strong play from 23, who, who seemingly just runs through Extreme and uh, has no problem getting on top of that Phantom Assassin. That looked clean. Really, really good stuff there. Um, yeah, and I, and I think that's why I was slightly surprised to see the uh, BKB immediately after. Most builds that I do see go seem to prefer the Deso. Um, perhaps he just felt like the state of the game was was kind of decaying, and he couldn't really afford to be AFK farming for another four or five minutes. Maybe that's true, um, but uh, yeah. Crystal clone. Well, I mean, it's doing things, but you know, one versus three, four. Really, the maiden's not going to be able to win. Crystal clone or not? You know what to say when you die like this? Space, space created. <laughs> the guys, relax, it's just space, you know, they brought four heroes, they tried to kill a CM. You say, uh, I don't know how you say farm in Mandarin, but I assume that's what he's saying. It's in yeah, the opposite of... Push, push the side lanes, get farm, guys. Do not waste my life. Hmm. For we're gonna go on to waste this first row, so this is gonna be very fast. Big ol' arrow in there as well. Illusions of the illusions being made now. Oh, micro. There it is, Ollie. Good work. Nope, that, that illusion's still not attacking, Ollie. Ollie, micro it into the pit. Ollie, it's just standing there menacingly. No, whatever. Doesn't matter. Roche is still gonna go down. Not much of a chance for Extreme to contest it. Their best shot would have been something like a NP teleport in, which. Would have been I'm bold, trying to, say to the least. figure out what is their timing. Like, so if PA gets uh, Kanda, then what? Then do you just take a fight with the Kanda? So I mean, Tiny I is think... also building, building Kanda. That's two Kanda. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh well, that's going to be a kill on the Doesn't matter. Cube. This kill doesn't matter. No uh, yeah, no. I, I think what they want to do is they want to avoid fights for the next, well, Aegis. And then you come out with Tiny Conda, you come out with uh, PA Conda, 
and then you together one shot the morphling when he's uh, tossed in the middle of toss you know you kill him and then you win the fight from there I just don't sounds, know what else you could do. Sounds so difficult to execute. <laughs> Look, I agree, because you also probably have to lift this puck, I would suppose, right? Um, w with XSS, and I, I don't even... I don't even know what MP does other than assist in pushing out lanes. You know, I guess that's his job, basically, but I, I don't see what other play you have. I mean, you're building Conda on both heroes. You better use them at the same time. I thought you were only allowed to build one per team. Is that the rule? Yeah. And go it's to, like trying to build uh, a, a basher on Slarder. <laughs> when I kill and I start a game, I see a sniper, <laughs> then I see <laughs> I see some other bounty hunter thing, and I, I tell him, guys, please make sure we only buy one. <laughs> please, only one Kanda, please, and then your Zeus queues one up. <laughs> Who else is like a, a Kanda well, I think the buyer. worst thing I've seen is like a, a sniper rushing it. Yeah, of What's course. That? Probably the, the worst one. Did you haven't seen Divine rape your Conda rush? Uh, not yet. Probably then you assassinate not. a Rubik Conda, which is actually kind of good. I mean, it's <laughs> well, Rubik not, not a rush. Like reasonable. Yeah, I mean, if you don't rush it, obviously. I don't if think you're any uh, mid, row, mid row big, I think it can be reasonable in some That's games. True. All right, XM's TPing back, and Ame is going to be recalled here too. They don't want to let this tier three, uh, or at least bottom lane of Eric's go for free. As uh, 23, setting to work here. Down here, Ame um, considering making the jump on in. There's the Falak for the BKB, though. They've caught XM, and they're going to kill XM. XM, who doesn't have buyback for a minute, that might just be your bot lane of barracks. Yeah, very nice Gone. catch by Jeps. Yuling the, the blinking tiny in. The splits out, but there's no detection here. So the Moonlight Shadow hard countering this. In the meantime, the Baden, who has the detection, is going to be killed immediately by 23 Savage, who's stolen the form of XM. Buyback now from DY, as this is decent damage being dealt now on a 23 Savage. The split is ending here shortly. They've actually almost killed these. Bru oh my god, they've almost killed those Bruins. Yeah, but that's what happens when you have 20 level waveform attack targets on, on the yeah, You the can point. kill the bullings very easily. They're just trying to do what they can now from the side. This is still just Phylactery. We're honestly pretty far from the Conda. I assume Ame is saving for buyback. No, he's just, he's just poor. He shouldn't save for buyback, no. Not at this point. Just buy all your items. So, Conda into Brooch. That's the build now. And then rapier, you get rapier in the end. I've n I literally have never seen this before. I I I guess yeah. I've seen brooch. I've seen games of brooch. Uh, Moon likes to build it on uh, some PA games. I can see, but I I don't think I've ever seen Conda and brooch both in the game. Like think about how many heroes actually wants to buy those two items together. Like not many. Yeah, I mean, I can really only think of, like, the right quicker Zeus build, right, with Shard. I mean, and that's really stretching I mean, e it. E even then, you don't want to get the brooch, right, on that on that hero on Zeus. It's kind of... I don't know. It's just a, a weird build, -up, but we'll see whether it works if he actually gets there. I mean, I think this is a much more reasonable, quote-unquote, reasonable item on Zeus than it is PA. <laughs> really? Yeah, if you... You ask me, yeah, spell damage. <laughs> okay. You yeah, spell life steal, right? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I mean, a long shot for extreme as they are uh, testing some strats. Oh, oh, an Ame. Ooh, caught by the coil, forced to BKB, and we'll just TP away safely. Lauren says, just you wait till I have level 25. I mean, that forced them back, though, and you can see now they've burned the duration of this Aegis. No more Aegis. The Conda's ready. It's time. Is the, is the tiny Conda done? The tiny Conda's done, Winter. We're going to see it. The glass cannon of glass cannon strat from Extreme Gaming. The Extreme Glass Cannon. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. You ever, like, you know, in your science class, like, drop a test tube and it's made out of that really, really thin glass? You like breathe on it a little bit too hard. I didn't want to attend science class. I see you were too busy skipping to go to the CC, huh? Oh, uh, you know. 
It doesn't help when the land cafe is like next to next to the. Ah, they must have done it on purpose. It's two blocks away. And you stop by the audience. Stop by the mama store to get your my little eyes before you go. Uh huh. Uh huh. You get you pay your five ringgit for twelve hours. Everything within walking distance. Five ringgit for twelve hours. Which land cafe do you go to? I don't know, man. I was just making it up. Is that cheap or expensive? Cheap? Jabs? Jabs gets the Yules. That's uh, going to be a big kill here on the XM, whose TP was interrupted. Yeah. Has no BKB. No Where's chance to use the Kanda. helping you? Huh? Hey, bro, you have a Kanda? How does that help you? <laughs> I don't know what Kanda idea you were having, says Jabs. I'm kinda dead now. <laughs> Chasm. <laughs> yeah, Alvin's kinda hold he's holding this other guys. I think we're kinda fucked. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I have no idea what maybe it's good. You know, maybe he shows up to one fight and they just win. But I also I don't I think they've overcooked themselves here. Now you kind of oh. hope the game will drag on for another 20 minutes. Oh no, Jabs. I think he's going to get it. Jabs is going to get another one. I just blinks in. And he's immediately got a TP away. Oh man. And so far, he's been just using his BKBs to run away. Yeah, because he's still farming the Revenant's Brooch. That's when it comes together. Okay, okay. Let's just wait, you know. We shall not judge until we see it in action. I'm just like... Credit to the... To the tenacity of uh, <laughs> of Sin Q and DY this game, I could not imagine, you know, having the mental fortitude to be playing in a game like this. Seven to twenty-two, you're one eight and four on the maiden, you're two five and four on the NP. Yeah, and, and your you streak, look at your core. Your streak is on the line. You know, five yeah, games in a row you, winning. You, you predicted. Yeah. And then meanwhile, your your PA is queuing up two 5,000 gold items. Like, yeah, don't worry, guys. I'll be able to show up fight. Don't worry. Uh, XM, he's going to die. Split. I think it got used. Indeed, it did. As Jabs, he might be in a spot of trouble here. That is until 23 comes to reinforce. They have a kill there. They're going to just focus down these Bruins. And XSS, he's managed to escape right now with the Storm Bruin, as it is going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> go invis again and run for its dear little wife. That nice wind walk away. I just don't don't worry though. PA almost done. Three hundred and fifty go. He's gonna get it. Okay, sell his break bang. Go back to base. Are you kidding me? If, if he still has a base, <laughs> he actually almost does have it. You were right about that. I know my math, you. Know. Yeah, yeah, well, ready. okay, ready. Let's keep our eyes close to the PA. Base, base is going on down. All right, we'll see how it goes. There's going to be the buyback. What can you do without a split? I have no idea, but Ame, it's online. It's time. Here it goes. The Brooch, the Condat. Is it in the nick of time? Jabs. All right, that's some significant damage. Ame finally joined the fight. BKB aggressively for once in this game, but 23, he's morphed oh, into him and he's blinked one kill. away. Jabs, he's down for the count. There's another split in 10 seconds now. It's extreme gaming. They will hold Winter. The Kanda, is it working <laughs> with the brooch? Let's see, one more fight. I mean, it's kind of strong. I mean, I mean now that I the see brooch it. was good. That, that was 1,400 damage from brooch. It's pretty good. Out of the 2,000 almost that uh, PA did. So what is that, 60%? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very 60%. good against high armor targets like Morphing. So Morphing has to be... So now then, do, do you actually need to just keep your strength more? Okay. I guess so. You have to morph I more guess, strength. Yeah, just more BKBs, morph more strength, which is unintuitive, but, but you can't, right? Because this is an instant uh, this is an instant toggle item, if I, I believe. So she can just untoggle it, and then you just die because you don't have any armor. Uh-huh. Maybe that's the thought process here. Hold on, hold on. They're cooking. They're cooking. Caster was wrong. There's a split just to guarantee that they get this Roche. 
And honestly, there's not really a way Aurora can contest this. Wait, hold on. Are they actually going to lose to Conda, Revenant's Brooch, PA? He's got an Aegis now here. This is this is winnable. There's not a single buyback in the game, Winter. As Jabs is... This is a bold TP. I think he dies during the lift. There it is. He BKBs, gets off the Wind Waker as XM. Forced to BKB as well, but slowed to a crawl by the Purge. Aggressive TP in by Sin Q. And with the Curse of the Old Growth, has Vision on Ollie. That's a kill there. He's going to sacrifice himself for that one, though. Ame waiting for another jump in. Has the BKB ready. Sees his mark. It's 23 Savage. Doesn't want to make the jump in, though. As XM says, I believe that's a dieback from him. Oh, my God. Ame is one-shot Jabs. All right. Ame sitting up in his chair Is now, it? making the jump on a 23 Savage. Four dead, though. Ame, can you win this fight? One versus five. It doesn't really look like it. Can they kill him on the second life? There's an Avatos at the ready. There's the stuns into the arrow. Ame's got buyback, but they will not have any teammates here when he respawns. Wow, 23 Savage. Holy moly in that fight was really doing some carrying. Best morphing player. Honestly, I mean, that, that's a very good reason why everybody regards that he's the best one. And he just knows uh, which hero that he should uh, try to morph into to have the highest impact in the team fights. He's been doing a phenomenal job, and I, honestly, I think this game is just over. PA is going to have a buyback. I mean, she will be at full strength without a BKB for 25, but they're going to focus down on these structures. Jabs back in six seconds. Mega's spawning in shortly here as Tiny's back in four naturally. You're going to have another split by the time you respawn, but that's still 27 seconds away. Ame holding on the buyback now as 23 laying into the tier four towers. The double Conda, the Revenant's Brooch, Phantom Assassin. Might be back into the kitchen after this one as X XS or XM breaking out the team fight here. BKB's forced already. Gives Ame an opening here. He's holding onto this cheese. Has Divine Rapier in the quick buy. Okay. Maybe this maybe they stole a chance, Winter. It's not over till it's over. Aurora won a, a heart clencher yesterday, I believe. And you have a PA, you know? probably one of the heroes that can still turn this game around. I think right now, uh, I mean, you see the weakness of this build, right? Once you are in no position to poke, it's very good when you're poking from a distance, but when you're going in, then it doesn't it doesn't look as strong. If you go in and you don't have BKB anymore, you're just going to die. Yeah. So he needs to be very, very careful on when he actually goes in. And if you can kind of force him to BKB early, I feel like the hero is just not going to do too much. Huck, breaking the smoke, makes things a bit more difficult here. Yeah. I mean, he's I just, he just has to play the, the range game right now, the PA. I mean, Puck is kind of doing the same thing, you know? Like, she, he's just jumping in all the time with the face shield and doing damage with Parasma. Now with the Arcane Blink, so... I mean, it is going to be so, so annoying. So difficult though, Winter. I mean... It's winnable by Extreme. I, I do think Aurora have to make some kind of mistake, though, right? I, I think with their positioning or mistiming, misreading their strengths. Right now, they feel like they've got a chance. Good smoke break there by DYs. The puck just going right on in. Some damage on the Sin Q. Committee now on the foil. Behind. The silence onto one from behind. Yeah, you got to be, be careful. Ame looking for the right opportunity here to try and backstab. For now, lots of abilities burned and no kills quite yet, but the Ancient is exposed. Morph, he's got his, his uh, illusions on it. His Ame just trying to find the right opportunity. His blur is about to end. He does not really want to be back here where the creeps will scout him, so he's going to have to probably TP on back into his own base from the Tormentor area. Throne is starting to really he's take some damage. The these, these are Megas. Level 25. <laughs> Okay, okay, he's cooking. Triple stifling dagger. We'll see how this looks now as he's back into the base. There's the triple dagger, some decent damage. You can see them just poking and prodding as the train is protecting Nexus from that arrow from the bottom. Throne taking only a thousand HP so far and continuing to regen as the dragon roars, giving it strength here to the side of extreme gaming. They need to really buff up this Conda. Good damage around the bottom. Oh, but they're onto Ame, and there's another coil. BKB in time before the spear can connect his jabs. Yes, he's going to need to wind waker away. Still. 
has the cheese as well, but Ame wants to go for the kill. Jabs forcing out the arena of blood. And look at the way he's playing around this this uh, Ame right now. So far, so good, but he is going to go down. But Puck starting to lay into the base now. And especially with the Megas, the fight, though, still continuing out here as Ame continuing to try and draw this fight away. 23 Savage, though, he's already game. unleashed, turns into the Tiny, gets on top of the Ame, and Ame is going to die. The game is over. Megas on the throne. The split's been used to try and last a little bit longer here, but Loranoff with the triple kill here, ending the game. Unbelievable game from Aurora. Extreme yeah, damage, trying to different builds. Uh, there, uh, there goes.